breaking news. A few moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space, with first contact made in the nation's capital. Our reporter Xavier is live in Millington. What can you tell us, Xavier? There is panic and terror in the streets as New Zealanders have woken up to find aliens throughout our towns and cities. These space invaders seem capable of destroying the country and the planet unless we want we give them what they want. The risk of harm to the public is very real and Xavier, are you there? We appear to have lost our signal. Now, in a bizarre exclusive, an alien has taken one of our reporters into their space vessel to broadcast their demands. Standing by... What's happening there? But what I can tell you is these aliens stink. They smell like a mixture of lynx and perfume. It looks like one of the aliens is about to speak through a translator. People of Earth, we are superior beings and we come from the planet Comb in the galaxy of here. We demand these three things from you right now. My request is lots and lots of cookies. Milk. Toilet paper. Well, there you have it. Are these demands reasonable? Is this the end of the human race? Make your voice heard on Twitter using the hashtag, hashtag OMG aliens. Currently the government is preparing to make a statement. So we cross now to parliamentary reporter, Asher. Thanks Oliver. Crowds are gathering here but many are still on their way to work. Some people are quite unaware. Aliens have invaded people. Wake up, be afraid. Here comes the Prime Minister to address the nation. Tēnā koutou katoa, people of New Zealand. This is your Prime Minister, Jinder Ardern, talking, asking each one of you to remain calm. It is important that we do our best to make these Space aliens feel welcome. We must display all the friendly qualities that define us as New Zealanders. We will be holding a porphyry later today, then I will join the alien leaders on a helicopter tour of our beautiful country. Our hope is that these beings will spare us from destruction and they will move on to Australia. If you come across one of these creatures, we recommend that you hold your breath, smile and then quickly run away. In the meantime, go about your business as usual. That is all. Thanks, Prime Minister. Now, where to from here? To help us answer this question, we've collected a panel of alien experts to come discuss what you at home can do to get through this event. Can you? Is going to bar the spaceships. Obviously, that is completely foolish because what we should do is go onto the ship, into the control room and try and shut them down. My idea is way better than yours, Heather. All you have to do is get the TNT and sprint into the back door of the spaceships, light it and then sprint out. My idea is way better. Your idea is completely ridiculous. All you have to do is go into the control room and hit the big red shiny button. You two dim-witted idiots, all we need to do is find out why the aliens are here and what do they want from all of us. Okay, Karen. Opinions of the experts, are they right? Who can tell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's have a look at the mayhem happening up and down the country. 
Thanks, Oliver. Let's have a look at what's happening out there. In Auckland, there's an outrage as the aliens try to knock over the Sky Tower and use it as a space antenna for their ships. Keep away from the downtown area in Wellington. The railway station has become an alien transport lounge and they are relaxing in peace. For killing us all, meanwhile, confusion in Canterbury where aliens have formed a very strange partnership with the regions. Cow Company and Indonesian creatures have been stopped rolling down the world's steepest street and the aliens are said to be extremely dizzy and should not be approached. Well, I'm going to hide in my basement. Back to you, Oliver and Morgan. Finally, we interview someone who claims they have encountered and had close in with creatures from outer space. Our reporter Jaden is here with us now. I'm here with Ollie, who says they were once abducted by aliens. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, it's just blooming good. You should buy my dairy-free milk. Wait, it's so no, good. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this alien invasion must stir up some memories, <laughs> painful memories for you. What exactly are creatures from outer space really like? Oh, that, that just, that just crazy. If you go near them, stay away. Do what the prime minister says. Got it. Okay. How has this experience affected you? Uh. Oh, oh, do you know that laser beam, whatever it's called? It's just blooming good. You like go up a slide. Oh, that's so amazing. Okay. Finally, Ollie, as a person of experience with extraterrestrials, what did what what do you think we should be doing? You should be Keeping your cows away from them. They steal your milk and they steal your toilet paper. Buy all the toilet paper, people. If you do not buy the toilet paper, you are going to get... No, no. Well, Ollie, thank you very much for your time. <laughs> Back to the... St Thanks, Jaden. Well, I'm going to run home to my mummy. And I'm going to eat as many lollies as I can until I'm sick, or the aliens get me. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates, or follow our live stream to watch the end of humanity as it happens. Goodbye everybody, as these terrifying and foul-smelling aliens have mercy on us all. Kia kaha.